in the mountains of Veracruz is a town called Cuscamatepec. Every Monday, the whole town becomes an outdoor market. This happens every single Monday. People come down from the mountains and they sell everything here, just streets. And they have it all mapped out. Streets of shoes. There are different streets of uh, animals. They sell animals here. They do a lot of bartering. This whole street just has sheep. I look over here. There's some more over here. So these guys bring their sheep here. Maybe they'll trade them. Maybe they'll sell them. Right now I'm with my friends in the uh, area where they have all sorts of food. Tacos, uh, barbecue, soups. And it's just a really good place to immerse yourself here in the Mexican culture in the mountains of Veracruz. Buen provecho. The town of Coscomatepec in Veracruz is really kind of a, a rural town, rugged town, I guess you could call it. It's, it's at the foot of the tallest volcano in North America, which is 18 and a half thousand feet, has a glacier on the north face. The name of it, Pico de Orizaba. And this mountain town, that's what I call it, a mountain town, uh, is not visited by foreign tourists. In fact, every time I've had uh, uh, travel guests to that market, we've never, ever, ever seen any other foreigners. We're it. But I wanted to share with you a story that happened. This is a true story. We had some clients, some travel guests, that were at the market. I think they were from uh, uh, Brazil and the United States. And we split up and we said, okay, we're going to meet back here at such and such a time. So just go ahead and wander around and, and that. So some people went with my guide and, and this one guy, he went with me. Um, he was from the United States someplace, I forget where. We're walking around and we get on this one uh, area where there's uh, bakery goods, like fresh bread, things like that. And there was a guy who was selling it and he saw us. He saw us like coming down the, the aisle. And so he's motioning, hey, hey, hey. You know, he's like, come here, come here, come here. Of course, it's all in Spanish, and so we go over there. He asks us, where are you from? In Spanish, I told him where he, where my travel guest was from, and where I was from, and I said that he was my travel guest, and, and that we had a small group here, and there were other people wandering around that he might see them. And he got really excited. He reaches over to his uh, little pile of these round breads. There were round breads in this plastic the bag, and then there was a, a zip tie, or a tie, he says in Spanish, here, and he hands uh, my travel guest the bread, and he said, this is a gift from me. I really appreciate you coming to our little town. I hope you enjoy this bread. And the guy, he didn't speak Spanish, and so he looked at me like, what did he say? So I told him what he said, and he was, felt kind of funny, obviously, you know, it's like, who gives away free stuff? He said, well, can I give him some money for it or something? I said, I don't know. Let me ask. So I asked the gentleman in Spanish if, you know, I said he'd like to give you some money for the bread. And the guy said, no, 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 no. He said, I just really appreciate the fact that you traveled this long distance. You came to our town and I, I, it's just a, an honor and a privilege to have you here uh, among us and for you to get to know us and, and get to know how we live here in the mountains. And he said, please, he says, accept this gift. So I told the guy what he said. My travel guest was shocked. He was like, yeah, again, who gives you free stuff? He said, oh, should I take it? I said, yes, please. I said, you're going to offend him if you don't take it. And so he reached across the table and he shook the guy's hand and, and he said, gracias, gracias. It was a moment when there's a little emotion. The emotion on the one side is this gentleman, the local guy, who was just really super excited to see us. And then my travel guest, who, hey, he'd, he'd been around the block a few times. He'd been to other countries and that. And this was definitely different. I mean, usually if someone's giving you something, 
they want something in return. I know I've seen that personally when I've been to places like Egypt and that, they're very pushy. They, there's always a scam, a scheme, but this was genuine. This was just the real deal. And that's what you'll find not only in rural Veracruz, but in other areas of Mexico as well, where they just don't see that many foreigners and, and they really feel that it's an honor. It's a, it's a pleasure to have visitors come and visit them and to, to see their area and to explore uh, what is there, the, the geography, the beauty of it, and to meet the people. I just wanted to share that with you. Next week, I'm gonna share another story. This is a story about an adventure group that we had, but it's something that happened that I'm almost positive will never happen again on any other groups ever. And I'm sure these people will go home and none of their friends Nobody will ever uh, be able to say, oh yeah, I've had that experience when I was traveling. It's probably just not going to happen, so stay tuned for next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and you can subscribe and stay in touch as well. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have yourself a great week, and as they say in Spanish, hasta luego.